after yesterday's earthquake, you might be wondering, have we been having more of them than normal? Well, we did get the answer for you tonight, and it is yes. We are having the most seismically active year in almost four decades, and experts say the shaking is likely to continue. KKL News reporter Nicole Comstock is outside Caltech in Pasadena with more on the risks for fault zone communities, right, Nicole? Yeah, that's right, Pat. Seismologists say we have seen more earthquakes this year in Southern California than in any other year since 1988. But that doesn't necessarily mean we're any more or less likely to see the big one soon. They say it does just mean that we're probably going to continue to see more earthquakes. After Monday's 4.4 magnitude earthquake shook homes across LA. It was really scary. But um, it was a bit of a shock, yeah. Seismologists are now saying we are experiencing a period of increased earthquake activity in Southern California, one that many people have noticed. A lot more recently and did feel a few of those, but not nothing as strong as what we just felt in South Pasadena. Yeah. By mid-August, we've already had 13 earthquakes measuring 4.0 or larger here this year, when we normally average 10 to 12 that size over an entire year. So we are seeing an ongoing um, process of, of earthquakes happening on this fault. Caltech researcher and geophysicist Dr. Lucy Jones says this 4.4 happened along the Puente Hills thrust fault system, which runs from the Puente Hills above Whittier to Pasadena, and to downtown LA. And she says it has the potential to cause major damage. They are considered the set of, of faults capable of producing probably the most damage of any earthquake in, Calif in Southern California because of the location, because they run under uh, old structures and uh, very densely inhabited areas. Jones says earthquakes here could be five to 10 times more destructive than earthquakes along the San Andreas Fault. In fact, the 1987 Whittier Narrows earthquake happened along this fault system. The 5.9 killed eight people and damaged thousands of buildings. And Jones says earthquakes do tend to happen less frequently along the Puente Hills Fault System than the San Andreas Fault System. And earthquakes tend to have at least several thousand years in between them, in between the bigger ones on this fault system. Reporting live in Pasadena, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL News. Well, that's all good information. Thank you so much, Nicole.